What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Fudge Muppet. My name is Michael and today we're talking about the Rooted Perk and is it worth it? The Rooted Perk is the ninth perk in the Strength Tree, meaning you will need 9 Strength if you want this perk. At the first rank, it makes your melee and unarmed attacks do 25% more damage while you're standing still, and while you're standing still, you'll also get plus 25 damage resistance. At the second rank, you'll get plus 50 damage resistance while standing still, and cause 50% more damage with your melee and unarmed attacks. Now, is it worth it? Because you do have to be standing still. Well, I've played a 10 strength and also, mind you, a 10 endurance character, and I've found this perk to be incredibly useful. I will say, if you are playing a melee character, and you are definitely having 9 strength, that Rooted is a perk that you really, really, really should get. Heaps of combat in this game is fought indoors, where enemies are up against walls, or simply won't be running away backwards. There are many enemies in this game that only move forwards, like some ghouls and also any other characters using melee. Keep in mind that the third rank of this perk makes enemies able to be disarmed automatically when they attack you with a melee weapon. This has proved incredibly useful many times for me, but I must say it's the first and second perks that are the most useful. You can easily get away with skipping the third perk if you simply don't want it. It's not necessary at all. The reason I say this is because with 50% more damage, if an enemy melee attacks you, you should be able to block and then simply attack them, getting 50% more damage because you're standing still after you block their attack. Disarming their weapon isn't extremely useful because if you are a strength character, you should be able to kill them fairly quickly if you're already up close. The other thing to mention is that it doesn't really matter what type of weapon you're using in terms of blocking, because even if a behemoth attacks you with a gigantic hammer, you can simply use a sword in Fallout 4 block and he will have a massive recoil, allowing you to strike him with a standing power attack or standard attack. This is a playstyle that I recommend you have to learn if you use Rooted. Rooted is almost a skill in itself that you have to learn, there's a certain way you need to play the game. Often you will need to rush enemies, expect they will melee attack you even if they have a gun, press block and then while you're both standing still and they're staggered, press power attack and you'll often get a finisher which is really awesome and you'll often get the finisher because your attack will often be an instant kill because you're getting 50% more damage. But what about different types of weapons? What about unarmed weapons for example? Well, the thing with unarmed weapons is they do have a shorter range than melee weapons such as the Super Sledge. This, of course, has a longer reach than unarmed. With unarmed, however, enemies that continue to run at you like ghouls and melee characters will, of course, fall prey to your unarmed rooted strikes. With longer range melee weapons such as the Super Sled and the Chinese Officer Sword, this perk is phenomenal. You have a beast range and you can block enemies attacks, but besides that you don't even have to block their attacks because many enemies, especially those with guns, their melee attacks are out of range against you while your melee attacks can hit them simply because your weapon is longer than their elbow. In terms of learning the playstyle which I did mention, what you're going to have to do is learn to stop moving as you throw moving attacks. Now I know this may sound weird, however I find that if there is an enemy running away, I can for example move to the right, press attack, and this is a moving attack, but just before the attack connects with your opponent, you let go of the movement stick and you still connect them with a moving attack, but the rooted effect still occurs. The game thinks you're still standing still, and this is a great way to get additional damage. Like I said, this is a bit of a skill to learn and some people will simply have trouble with it because they don't let go of the movement soon enough. However, after you've practiced this technique, the perk becomes absolutely beast. In terms of different types of melee weapons, I've found Rooted to work with all of them. Probably the worst thing to have Rooted with is a Ripper because the range is extremely short and you are usually constantly chasing after enemies who are trying to move out of your range. With a weapon such as the Super Sledge or a Baseball Bat, you can get in their range, stop moving, press attack, and even if they walk backwards, you'll still hit them, and you'll get the 50% damage bonus. Things like daggers are still effective with the Rooted Perk, but they're not as good as the longer range melee weapons. The only thing I will say about daggers though, is that sometimes when you rush an enemy, you plant an attack, they can simply walk backwards and get out of your way. So basically with Rooted, the longer your weapon is, the better the perk is. That said however, the rush block attack technique still works with daggers and you'll get heaps of cool finishes because you'll have more damage. So when is the Rooted perk not worth it? 
Well, personally, I think the Rooted Perk is not worth it for a stealth character. Now, the Rooted Perk does say that it can be used for sneaking up behind a character, staying still, and then delivering one killing blow. However, if you are playing a stealth melee character, you should definitely be getting the Ninja Perk. And once you've got all the ranks of the Ninja Perk, you're going to be doing times 10 damage with your sneak attacks. In this case, I believe the 50% bonus from Rooted simply isn't worth it. If you are playing a stealth melee character or a stealth unarmed character, don't invest heavily into strength because the damage bonuses you will get will simply be enough to kill almost anything. Times 10 damage, even with a weapon that only does 50 damage, that's 500 damage. That kills almost anything. In terms of swinging speed as well, it doesn't really matter. Long range melee weapons like the Super Sledge, which are slow, are still beast with rooted, as are medium weapons like swords. Personally, I've actually found medium weapons to be the best with the rooted perk, as often with the Super Sledge or any heavy long range melee weapon, enemies can put in an attack and stagger you before you can attack them if you're trying to be planted and use your weapon. That being said, however, as you can see in this video, if you're a master of a type of weapon, you can make rooted work if you simply learn to use it. But what about damage resistance? Well, call me biased, but I think it's worth it yet again. Plus, 50 damage resistance while standing still is brilliant, especially when you use the rush technique to get up close to enemies and stand still. If they do manage to hit you or shoot you, you'll take way less damage. In this video, I am playing very carelessly, as you can see. I'll stand still, I'll soak up damage, I'll muck around just to show you how good root it is and how different it is to when you're moving around. Keep in mind that I do have 10 endurance, so it is harder to show you guys just how much of a difference it makes, and that's why I access my Pip-Boy here to show you the actual amount of damage I take when I move compared to when I stand still. This perk isn't worth it for stealth characters because you get such a massive sneak damage multiplier, especially with the ninja perk, and therefore, Rooted is definitely for your straight up, smash em up melee character. If melee isn't your main focus and you want to invest into other special stats, then perhaps Rooted isn't for you. Rooted is for the characters who want high strength throughout the game, and for those characters, this perk is absolutely necessary. My name is Michael, this is one of my favorite perks, Rooted, and I'll see you soon, ready to nerd out with some more Fallout 4.